Well, here comes Damocles, and we've got 11 minutes of pure joy with this boat. In the six years I've been in the business, this is, in my world anyway, the nicest boat I've ever seen. She's fabulous. She was built in 2018, a Mel Davis shell, and fitted out by Jim Birch. For those of you who know Jim Birch and his work, it's first class craftsmanship from bow to stern. Absolutely amazing fit out. So she's just had a rep uh, November 21, a full repaint by Steve Furness in, in Whedon. She was blacked at the same time, November 2021, epoxy two-pack. The engine was serviced in April this year, but it's done very little cruising since. Lovely shaped bows. Now there's a 10 kVA generator in that forward compartment. The boat is gas free. We'll talk you through the bits and pieces as we go. There's the well deck, absolutely beautiful. I call it conservatory. We'll see that from the inside. Lovely paintwork. Now under that canopy by the chimney there is an air, condi air conditioning unit. 100 watts of solar power there. These side hatches all have um, glazed inner doors. So it's got air conditioning. So that's obviously great in the summer as they get warmer. And it also does heating as well. 62 feet, don't know if I mentioned that. She's a traditional stern reverse layout. And on we go. There's no sharp edges on the woodwork on this boat. This wide hat, the side, back hatch is super wide, very easily slides. You can push it with a finger both ways. Instruments on the right hand side there. In here's the electrics. That's a Victron three, three kilowatt inverter charger. There's a galvanic isolator there. The controls for the generator. Super quiet. The generator. It's cocooned in that forward compartment. Under the electrics cupboard, there's a tiny little cupboard which has the stern tube greaser in, so that's really easy. And down we go, look at this woodwork. It's all oak and reclaimed elm. The floor's reclaimed elm. Beautiful. We sold a boat before, a couple of years ago, called Theodoric, which was built by the same chap, Jim Birch. Similar sort of finish, there's a Houdini hatch here in the kitchen. There's a side hatch either side in the galley here, both sides. That's a 230 volt fridge, integral. That's a freezer. It's so well equipped, this boat. You can move on it today and live on it for years without having to do a thing. The drawer there. Cupboard. The galley itself, 10 feet 6 inches long. That's the Heritage Range. Really, really lovely bit of kit. Two ovens on that. That does a central heating and the hot water. You can start that up remotely from your phone. So if you want to come to a hot toasty boat, that does that. Loads of storage on this boat, absolutely massive of it. We'll see as we go through. Look at the curves on the work. The worktops are a solid oak. The cupboard's over. This is a dishwasher, 230 volts. And inspected by the Commodore. Little cupboard under the Belfast sink here. Just show you that. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. And look at the woodwork. No curves, no sharp edges. There's the side hatch. That doesn't have a glazed inner door. That's the only one on the boat I think that doesn't. The rest all do. Lovely view. And under here, there's a induction hob. I suppose if it's hot in the summer, you don't want to be cooking on the range. There's an induction hob. And under that, in the unit under that, is the full-size 8.5 kilo washer-dryer. I don't know why I didn't show it, but it is there. And then cupboards, cupboards, cupboards. There's a bit of a fox theme on this boat. You'll see a few references to foxes as we go through. Cupboards there, cupboards there. And that's the view down the galley. There's two hot plates on the top of the range there I didn't mention. On into the saloon, 13 feet long, and this is a stunning room. Feels like a country cottage. Lovely radiator there. 
That's an electric panel radiator. There are two of those on the boat, and they as well can be operated remotely from your phone at home, so warm the boat up before you get here. A couple of cupboards under the work surface here. Nice little occasional table. That's a click-clack sofa bed. Super comfy. Another side hatch. Side hatch opposite as well. So that's four side hatches so far on this boat. There's a little table. <clears throat> that's lovely. That just hooks up past the stool. You can sit at that, doing some work or crosswords, whatever you like to do while well, by the side hatch. Lots of storage here under the gunnels. <clears throat> the centre cupboard here has the television in. That's a smart television. It's a cello, 22 inch, wall mounted, so it comes out on a hinge. It's also got a Bose sound system with it. All the portholes on the boat are open. They've all got bungs, you can see them there. That's the air conditioning unit. So that blows either hot or cold air both ways, down the boat, forward and back towards the back of the boat. Boatman solids fuel stove. <clears throat> Lovely wall lights on this boat above the click clack there. That's the view down the saloon. All the lights are LED, by the way. <clears throat> on we go. This is lovely. I'm enjoying this. Into the bathroom. Seven feet, one inch long. All the windows on the boat, by the way, have privacy glass film on. So you can see out, you can't see in. Nice chest of drawers here. The loo itself. There's a Sunny Marin pump out loo with a 150 litre holding tank. There is a tank gauge. Look at the size of the shower. I did measure it. Two and a half by three and a half feet long and wide. There's an extractor light over. <clears throat> Heated towel rail there. Lovely basin here. That's Moroccan ceramic. Look at that tap. Absolutely beautiful. Bank of four drawers there cupboard underneath that's a full straw under the sink and again this lovely curved woodwork around the porthole another cupboard there there's just such good use of storage on Damocles on we go to the bedroom this door closes that black panel there that's another panel radiator remotely operated if you want into the bedroom. Now there's a decent sized cupboard. All the cupboards have lights in, by the way, that go on when you open the doors, or most of them. You can, there's a cupboard in there, that's a wardrobe, you can access that from either where I've just passed or the doors here at the end of the bed. There's a cupboard there and above the other end of the bed, which has a TV and DVD in it. I'll just show you this wardrobe. A couple of shelves over the bed there as well. There we go, the lights have come on. So that's quite clever, you can access it from both ways. <clears throat> the bed itself is six feet four inches long, four feet wide. Another side hatch with glazed inner doors. Another foxy there, look. And at the foot of the bed, or the head of the bed rather, another wardrobe. It's got bedding in at the moment. And behind the door, very good sized cupboard with one, two, three, four. There's actually four drawers and, a, and another compartment at the bottom. It's mirrored on the other side of the boat. Might have just seen that radiator in the corner there. It's lovely. And into the conservatory. Look at this room. It's fabulous. Bench seats either side. The water tanks. There's two water tanks either side under those benches. Obviously the generator isn't forward. That hatch does come down and the canvas size can roll down. There is another table that comes in here, so you can comfortably seat four for dinner. The table's just stored under the gunnel in the bedroom on the port side. There you go, you can see it there. The bedroom I didn't mention, 11 feet 6 inches long. So it's got the two polypropylene water tanks with a tank gauge. Hot water's heated by the engine, the heritage range. There is an immersion heater on board as well. We've gone through the heating. 
There are two brand new 240 amp hour domestic batteries on board. There's also an 80 amp starter and an 80 amp generator battery. There's a galvanic isolator on board. I think I mentioned 200 watt solar panels with a Victron MPPT controller. And the engine, we haven't looked at that yet. Let's have a look in there. Look at that fox on the carpet. It's a Beta 50. It's only done 295 hours. There are the batteries. Oh, there's a bow thruster. I didn't mention that. It's super powerful. Hydraulic Lumar bow thruster. And there we go. Real treat, I think. That's Damocles. Absolutely stunning boat. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboat.co.uk.